that time he he had a touchdown and he broke it down like post game. That post game interview that he had that went viral speaks to the kind of like football IQ he has. Yeah, they had a little three deep fire zone, brought the nickel off the edge, safety dropped down. Uh, it didn't look like they were doing a replacement fire zone, so I knew at the back away we were gonna get three pushing through. Um, that I had an opportunity to kind of run in there if I could beat my guy and just had to beat the safety to the end zone. Thank you so much. Most people that watched it had no idea what he was talking about. Cooper Cup just so patient, trying to show that quick out route and then breaking across Wingard's face. Unfortunately, it's Wingard's birthday today. <laughs> Poor guy. My favorite play from last year of mine is my, my own play. Um, I think you got to go with uh, the last play of the Super Bowl for the, for the offense. Now with 129 remaining in regulation in Super Bowl 56. You know, we get a little run alert out to the outside. We got cover zero. You know, Matthew was able to give me the little, you know, I see the little peak out there. And I was like, okay, we're, we're getting this thing up and down and put it in the right spot. It's second and goal from inside the one. Stafford from under center, steps back, throws the fade, back shoulder, Cooper Cup's got it! Touchdown, L.A.! It's hard to imagine a receiver having a more fairy tale season than Cooper Cup. We're going to Disneyland! Woo! He became the first player in 16 years to lead the league in receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. The rare receiver triple crown. What he's been able to do, leading the league in receptions, yards, and touchdowns. For me, uh, number one player on this list, definitely Cooper Cup. The triple crown, everything, I say he did number one. Best at my position, one, uh, Cooper Cup. Lead his team to the Super Bowl, uh, it's hard to go against the triple crown one or two. By capping his year off with a Super Bowl MVP performance, Cup may have had the greatest season by a receiver in NFL history. My favorite Cooper Cup play is we were up in Seattle on a Thursday night game when he came wrap around and threw a shoulder into Jamal Adams, bumped him into the corner, and ended up springing us for you know a 30-yard gain. I mean, Cooper Cup just erased the highest paid safety in the game, Jamal Adams. You know, he's got over 1,000 yards, and he's out there to help us get the edge on a run play. <laughs> As great a year as Cooper Cup has had, he's the best wide receiver in the league that I've seen this year blocking in the run game. And not only is he good at it, he loves doing it. I enjoy watching Cooper. I always, I always tell him if he's having a good game. If he's having a good game, I'm letting you know, hey, you're balling, brother. He's sneaky with his route running. Cooper Cup sitting as a running back. Kyrie Willis, he has no chance. Cooper Cup puts a move on him. I should have seen what Cooper did to that safety. On him. Side-stepping, buckled it, put him on his ass. Including playoffs, Cup had 178 catches for 2,425 yards and 22 touchdowns. He's one of the league's best route runners, one of the best at catching the ball, and one of the best after the catch. play, he ran his route. So it's like, uh, came up, ran out, ran back in, ran back out uh, against Tampa Bay. And then he scored a touchdown. This route is unbelievable. My goodness. I mean, how do you cover that? He kills us every time. And we got some good DBs. And like I watched versus Carlton the year before. That move he just put on Carlton Davis, oh boy. Carlton's driving on it, and he whips back out, and it's like, Oh, like this guy's savvy. Cooper is able to find the weaknesses in the defense that he's going against. He's always looking at the surface pro on the sideline. We spent uh, so much time together um, before practice, after practice, in the meeting room, on the field, just constantly talking, trying to figure out ways that we can be better as a team and uh, as a combination. The amount of time that we spent together was a lot, and uh, I think it showed up on the field. Oh, and crunch time on third and long. Third down and Cup. Cooper Cup. What a win, bud. 
I could have thrown it out there a little bit, huh? No, you're, you're great. I mean, little, another step. I mean, you've yes. done six inches? Yes. It was that attention to detail that made Cup the Rams' go-to receiver in the postseason's most critical moments. It's Cooper Cup! He set up the game-winning field goal in the divisional playoffs and again in the championship game. Cooper Cup with 26 on third down and three. In the Super Bowl, Cup delivered on the game-winning drive. It's a jet sweep out the right side. He cuts inside. He's got it. Super Cup. Keeping the Rams drive alive. For the highest ranked receiver on the top 100, it was a perfect ending to a storybook season. Cooper! Great job, man. I'm so happy for you. Love you, man. Way to go. So proud of you. So happy for you. Cooper Cup. You win and a memory that will last a lifetime. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Awesome.